Kehinde Wiley is a contemporary painter best known for his realistic images of African Americans posed like historic images of kings or other people of privilege and power. Sometimes his portraits feature famous people such as President Obama, but other times he uses models of strangers who he meets on city streets from around the globe. Growing up in LA in the 1980s, Kehinde developed his interest in art from a very young age. He went on to earn a degree from prestigious Yale University. In 2015, he won the National Medal of Arts. Two years later, he was selected by President Obama to paint the official portrait for the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. Join me now in making a Kehinde Wiley inspired collage of a person in your family or just a photo from a magazine or print it out. Today for our Kehinde Wiley inspired portrait collage, you are going to need a piece of paper for your background, a printout or a photograph from a magazine, any kind of photo of a person, or for more challenge, you could draw the person yourself on a piece of paper and color it in with whatever material you like. A few extra scraps of paper for collaging. Whatever color medium you like to work with, I did markers today because they were quick and easy to clean up. A pencil for sketching and some glue and scissors. So my first step is to draw the pattern I'm going to use on my background for my portrait of Harriet Tubman. She was from Maryland, so I wanted to use the Maryland State Flower of the Black Eyed Susan and some elements of the Maryland State Flag. I also decided to use African Kente cloth to reflect her grandmother's Ashante uh, West African heritage. So I'm going to draw the pattern for my background. In this case, I'm starting with the cloth and the Black Eyed Susan flowers. I'm using a Sharpie so it shows up better on the camera. In my sample, I just sketched it with a pencil. So my lines don't show up in the finished product, but I think it would look great either way. Okay, so there are my Black Eyed Susans. Now I'm going to continue my Kente cloth pattern. which is kind of a grid. Okay, so now I have my pattern all drawn for my background and it's time to color with whichever material you wish. I'm going to start by coloring my Black Eyed Susans with marker, trying to be as neat as possible but leaving room for some creative magic to happen. And after I color all my Black Eyed Susans, I'll start on my Kente cloth. So the Kente cloth has repeated patterns with red, yellow, green, and black. And I will continue coloring until the entire background is filled with color and pattern. And you'll notice that sometimes I change the direction I'm coloring with my markers or when I'm painting. Sometimes I might spin the paper to make it a little easier to reach the area I'm working on 
and so that I don't smudge any work that I've already done. So don't forget, you can move your paper and your marker around to best color and fill the page. So you get the idea here. I'm going to fill my entire page and I'll see you back in a minute for the next step. Okay, so I finished coloring in a pattern over the whole background paper. I also created a few elements from the background, the same flower, to collage. And I cut out my portrait. So the next step would be to glue these in place. I'm going to use white school glue today but I'm going to smooth it out with a brush to make sure I get a nice even application. So I apply the glue and then I will smooth it out. You could also use a glue stick. You could use Mod Podge for a nice shiny finished surface. It's up to you. So there's my glue. I'm using an old brush to simply smooth that out, get it to the edges so that I don't have a bunch of bumps from where I placed the glue on my paper. Now I'll carefully lay the cutout portrait and smooth it from the inside toward the edges. Making sure there's no bubbles and it's nice and smooth all the way around. Okay, last thing will be to arrange and collage these flowers to make it seem like she's just popping right out of the background. So I'm going to use the same method, apply the white school glue, and smooth it out. Make sure you wash this brush out right away because if that glue dries in there, that brush won't be any good. Alright, so I've laid these on and press the glue. And here I have my finished Kehinde Wiley inspired collage portrait. I hope you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to finish and email your artwork to jennifer at blowingrockmuseum.org.